We're here at Community Care College and we're gonna learn about the Surgical Technologist program. Here's some of our staff to tell us about it. I'm John Stutter, the department head for Surgical Technology. And I'm Michelle Greer, I'm one of the instructors for Surgical Technology program. So can we check out the lab? Absolutely, yeah. let's go. So this is the lab. Um, Michelle, what does a typical day in the classroom look like for your students? Okay, well the first half is a lot more lecture, so you're learning medical terminology and anatomy. And then the second half, we're here in the lab a lot. So we do a lot of lab work and then a little bit of lecture in the afternoon. All right, well show me around. Okay, so this is an OR where we practice our sterile technique and we learn how to open and make everything ready for the surgeon and take care of our patient. Our patient looks very well taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what do your students do as far as their externship goes? I know they all have a three month externship at the end. Yeah, it's about three months long. Um, we use our area hospitals and, and coordinate with them for our students. We also have our own accreditation standards, which require 120 surgeries oh, wow. per student. And so, um, a lot of different specialties uh, that they get to experience out there. Okay, and how often do your programs start? They start every or three times a year. Okay. January, May, and September. Okay. Let's go look over here. Sure. Okay. And what is the demographic of your students? What kind of students do you end up coming to your programs? Really, there's not a certain one. Everybody, oh, awesome. um, all different age groups, um, male, female, really, it doesn't matter. And there's no higher success rate among anybody. It just a, depends on the student themselves and how much they want it. Uh, that's really the honest answer, so. Yeah, that's Students awesome. enjoy learning anatomy, that's what I would say. So yeah. A lot of science, a lot of anatomy, and of course, they have to not be squeamish, right? Exactly. We want them to be you know, willing to learn, that's why they're here, which sounds pretty common, but we want them to know that they're here to learn and just to trust us and know that we've, we know what it takes to get them to be successful. And so how do you, as the instructors, support the students in their learning? What, what is special about your classroom? What's special about the programs here at Community Care College? Why should they choose this one? I know that one thing we talk a lot about is our Karis Code culture. Uh, courtesy, accountability, respect, and with those three, excellence and success will follow after that. That's something we always preach in our classrooms, but we try to lead that by example. I know I hold my staff accountable to that as well. Anytime they interact with a student, uh, it's on a professional level. And we maintain that through the whole thing. And as long as we maintain that mindset through every aspect of our program, um, we should have a positive result at the end, so. That's great. And all of the programs here, it seems like everyone really is well supported by their teachers. The teachers are available. The classrooms, the classes are small. And so it's definitely a good chance to get that one-on-one -on -one time with your with your instructors. Yeah. What are some of the hands-on things that they'll get to practice in the classroom? Well, I'll, I'll take that one. Uh, for instance, this week we're learning oral and maxillofacial surgery, so they're actually getting to extract some teeth. So we actually work hand-in-hand -hand with our other programs, like dental. So they gave me some instruments so they can practice extracting teeth, because believe it or not, that's part of surgery too. Okay. Are there any other places you want to show me that your students go into? Sure, I can show our central processing department oh. right through this door. Okay. So this is our central sterile processing department. Okay. You can see we've got lots of instruments for our students to learn up on the pegboard and we're actually putting instrument trays together also. Oh, awesome. They learn the instrumentation. So with Community Care College, we're a nonprofit, and so our goal is to make our students successful, not to just crank as many students through as possible. And every student will get a kit that they will get to take with them after graduation. And what do you have kind of included in that kit to set them up to be a surge tech? Yeah, so from the day they enroll, they will receive two pairs of scrubs with our, um, you know, our logo on there, so everyone knows where you're from. And, uh, they also, throughout the program, will receive masks and gowns and gloves and, you know, the stuff they need for surgery, of course, to do the job, so. Okay, can we take a look at this stuff over here? Sure. So is this some of our just sterile equipment? Yes, yeah, so we've got sterile packs over here, and we've got sterile gloves, and pretty much anything you would need to do an operation. Masks. Masks, shoe yeah. covers, hair nets, all that good stuff. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you guys are interested in this program at all, you can always check out the website at communitycarecollege.edu. Or you can call us, 
918-610-0027. Thank you so much for showing us around. We hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.